That was a nice hike. All right, we're gonna hang out in the woods today. Finally got a chance to come upstate, get myself immersed in where I love to be. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna make a fire. I got a new tool that I'm gonna show you guys that was sent to me by a company. I'm gonna have some hot tea to warm up a little bit, so let's get a fire going. <music> Hey guys, Justin with Backyard Bushcraft. I'm at the Fingerboard Shelter up on the Appalachian Trail. I had an opportunity to get out. Uh, like I said in my last video, wife's been working crazy schedule. Um, I really haven't had the opportunity to get outside much uh, up in the mountains. I've been contacted by a few different companies. One of them is Beavercraft Tools. They want me to show their AX1 hatchet for today's video. So I figured, you know what? Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's uh, just about the middle of November. There's no better time to be in the mountains as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna get a fire going. I'm gonna process some wood with this. Usually I have my ax with me. Uh, I do not have it. It's the first time I've ever been in the woods without it. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel kind of naked without it. So I'm hoping that this little guy right here uh, lives up to the expectation because I only have this and a knife. So I'm gonna to get to processing some wood, make a fire, have some tea, and I'm gonna demonstrate how this bad boy works. And not that I'm expecting any uh, unwanted company, but uh, just in case, because like I said, I've been here a few times and I know this area uh, does have some black bear activity. Uh, I wanna make sure that I have the upper hand and not some uh, 400 pound animal looking for a, uh, a nice meaty snack. All right, so right off the bat, comes with uh, a pretty nice sheath, leather sheath, uh, feels very sharp uh, right out of the box. Uh, I'm gonna give you a good look at this right here Okay, uh, you have about a five inch head. All right. Um, very very sharp. It's a convex blade I think it's a 30 degree convex uh, Edge it's ashwood. Okay, very hard ashwood. It's got a lanyard hole in the bottom and um, I mean it looks It looks pretty well put together. It doesn't look like there's any you know defects in the neck or the throat uh, and like I said it's very very light uh, so be very careful using this because when you have light equipment you know it's easy to fling this thing around and get hurt very very sharp So guys, I have an axe safety video. You could check that out. I'm probably gonna put this sheath on a thousand times a day and take it off a thousand times. But I know that no matter what I do, as light as this thing is, and if I do happen to swing it, you know, a little careless, I know I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna cut myself. This was not a deep hike, but uh, you know, being a mile out from uh, from help is uh, can get very, very serious if you give yourself uh, a pretty good nick with uh, you know a very sharp hatchet or axe. I got my fat wood all set here. So I do have a video out there that shows how to make a campfire the right way. Uh, as you know, I've been to um, Cole Cracker's class. He doesn't really teach uh, to go get tinder and kindling all that. It's really small, medium, large. Uh, that's how he establishes um, to maintain a fire uh, pretty much in any condition. And I have to say, since doing it that way and not really worrying about kindling or tinder so much, uh, this has never really let me down. I've always been able to make a pretty sustainable fire, no matter what the conditions are. So like I said, I'm not gonna be here a long time, so I'm not looking to make a giant fire. So I didn't really go crazy, collecting too much wood. But if this was like uh, a night that I was gonna stay here and um, I really thought I was going to need to keep myself warm. I would obviously go and get myself some pretty good bundles of wood to last me through through the night. It's a little tip for you. If you're going to go try to make a fire and you break your piece of wood and it doesn't really snap, but you have like this happen, there's still moisture in that wood. So that may not be the best piece of wood to, to use. All right, see it's still kind of pliable like that. That means there's moisture in the wood, so you don't want that. What you're looking for is a clear uh, break, 
something like that that's how you know you have a super dry piece of wood and you know you're gonna get that fire going so uh, it's 1066 carbon steel uh, it's very strong steel you don't have to worry about damaging um, the blade it's uh, it's you don't have to worry about this cracking uh, so it's a very durable uh, steel well made from what I could tell so far it's very light in the hands and if you're looking to do more like carving work or you're looking to do uh, more uh, you know smaller projects like that then you really don't want to work with too big of an axe something like this hatchet uh, which is absolutely perfect this is a Ukrainian based company uh, they um, are a wood carving company and that's pretty much what they uh, they have their claim to so not only does the AX1 come with this leather sheath, but it also comes with this little belt loop. So I kind of like that. This way, you can carry this around. And like I said, it's very lightweight. I don't really have to worry about this getting in my way. And uh, that's something I really, uh, I actually, I really like. I might actually just start carrying this along with my axe as well. So the wood's super wet. There's not a lot of dead dry pieces of wood close to me like i said it's not super important i get a fire going today uh because i'm not spending the night and um i just wanted to get a fire going just to warm up a little bit which it's doing obviously as you see but you can hear it sizzling that's the moisture in the wood coming out and my pieces might be a little bit too big to start but we got the fire going uh, I walked away a little too soon or a little too soon and a little too long to go look for more wood, which I'm about to do again, but I'm going to throw some of the bigger stuff on it, get it going, and then, you know, I'll start showing you the, the uh, AX1 again. All right, I'm going to go look for some more wood while this burns and uh, get some bigger pieces, try to get a little bit more sustained, and then uh, we're going to start carving a little bit with that, uh, with the AX1. So I'll have in the video somewhere. A link that's gonna pop up for my axe safety video, how the proper way or a safe way to split wood. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna process this. These are the bigger pieces. I just wanna process this, try to split it, see how this does splitting the wood, and uh, we'll see if we give it a thumbs up. Let's see how we do. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna hold it like this, best you can and then the wood's very wet and rotted obviously but you get the idea of how to split wood safely and then you could just continue to split the same piece of wood right down the middle very wet not not making it easy for me but let's try another piece Well, if I'm being honest, I really don't like, I even tried it off camera just to test it out. It's a little too short for me. Maybe I just have, you know, I don't know. I'm going to try again, but I really don't like the way that it splits the wood. Maybe because I'm just used to my axe uh, and doing it so long like that. But like I said, this is a really cool, otherwise so far, it's a pretty cool little hatchet uh, being able to do. Um, you know, most of the tasks that I need to do today. We're going to cut some wood again. We're going to use something as a backstop. We're going to chop, see how it does chopping. And, um, you know, we'll uh, probably have a nice cup of tea, have a little snack, and then call it a day. So we know as bushcrafters, uh, the type of wood that we're going to be processing is anywhere from, you know, this size to a little thicker, maybe up to like an inch or two. And that's what we're going to use to get our fires going and any projects around camp. Uh, so we're just going to take this now. We're just going to see how it chops. So again, so keeping true to the size wood that we would use, using the shelter as, you know, a stable surface. I mean, it chops pretty good. It's, I mean, it just feels good in the hand. I'm not going to lie. I like the fact that it's in a belt loop. I like the fact it's out of my way. Uh, it's very sharp out of the box. I was able to get some nice peels on my fatwood uh, to get the fire going. 
speaking of, I gotta tend to the fire. Cool little stove I got, little pocket stove from Trail Wolf. Hibiscus tea, great for the blood sugar. like a snack over a fire with a hot cup of tea. Let's see how perfect the perfect bar is. So that's going to wrap it up for me today, guys. Beavercraft AX1 hatchet. Uh, for what I needed it to do today, it accomplished its mission. I'm going to carry this with me uh, for the next uh, few months. Uh, maybe I'll keep it as my permanent hatchet that I carry on me. Uh, but for the most part, uh, I'm an axe guy. And uh, maybe it's just because I've used that for years and that's what I've just become accustomed to. But I will definitely not throw this to the side. I will definitely give this a shot. When it comes to doing little fine type of shavings or fine type of uh, carving, this will definitely get the job done. Like I said, uh, very, very light, very sharp out of the box. Uh, not so heavy, so I couldn't really split my wood the way that I wanted to or the way that I'm able to with my, uh, with my axe. Uh, I'm going to use some smaller pieces maybe when I get home or next time I'm out in the woods and see if maybe just the pieces that we're using today were just a little too wet and a little too big. But for what I needed to do today, I processed some wood. I was able to get some pretty decent shavings with my fat wood to get the fire started uh, and it held up pretty nice. So uh, I give it a thumbs up. For the price, you can't beat it. It's $59.99, so for $60, bucks, you get uh, a decent little hatchet here. 
Um, again, maybe it's not the best. Maybe it is the best for you. And for what I needed it to do today for me, uh, it's definitely earned a spot on my hip. So I give Beavercraft a thumbs up. I'll have a link in the description. If you click that link, obviously, I'm an affiliate of theirs. I'll get some type of kickback, obviously. And I appreciate you checking them out. And their main focus is carving. Uh, if you're into carving, if you're into whittling wood, I suggest you check them out. They have a lot of really cool tools uh, that you can whittle wood with. And guys, don't forget, check out titansurvival.com backslash backyard bushcraft, 10% off your entire order. Not only can you grab one of these cool uh, tactical shamogs, but they also have uh, tactical uh, 550 cord, which is, I haven't even gotten to showing you guys that yet. It's pretty uh, spectacular. Of course, guys, anything that I use today, I'll have in my description as a link. You click that link. I'm an affiliate on Amazon. You click that link. You buy it. I get a nice little commission. Uh, helps me. Helps the channel. Keeps me going. Gets me to come out here and do these cool things. So, guys, if you liked the video today, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And, obviously, ring that bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. I appreciate you checking out Titan Survival. I appreciate you checking me out today. This is Justin with Backyard Bushcraft signing out.